After moving my gaming environment to external disk in this video, I finally have the freedom to take a look at the unconventional distribution elementary OS. Let's start installation now. Right after booting up the live CD, there is an issue. Usually, in order to capture the installation process on the bare metal, I will have to connect the laptop through HDMI port with a video capture card and use OBS on MacBook to record everything in the live CD. I will set the display in a mirroring mode for things to work. All the distributions I have used before were working into elementary. When I set it to mirroring mode here, the display got scaled into a huge mode even though the OBS capture is the same 1080p resolution as the laptop and I was stupid enough to keep the setting for the first time. The system then remembered my choice. No matter how I boot into the live CD, it goes into this mode as long as I plug in the HDMI cable. Fine, I'll dish the video capture card for the installation and try again after a video preparator driver is installed. Nothing major happened during the installation. I chose the option to erase the whole disk and it boots fine. First thing into the system, I went straight into installing the NVIDIA drive. I found no official guide on how to do that. Well, I guess the developers love Apple's design so much that they pick up the same mentality that the users do not know what they want, so we will make the decision for them. But given it is me on the receiving end, I refuse to accept. I'm gonna install the proprietary driver anyway. The interesting thing is that most of the posts on the internet, including the official elementary forum, are still using NVIDIA binaries to install the driver. And I had to find the unofficial guide on fosslinux.com, which utilized the Ubuntu PPA and GUI driver tool. I was able to follow it and install the driver. But the story didn't end there. I tried version 525, installed, and reboot properly, but when I launched the X settings, the application gave me an empty page. Fine, it might due to some compatibility issue. I remember downgrading the version somewhat helped me on the Regatta OS in this video. So I continue to try version 515 and 470. Same result. Right about me giving up on the distribution, the software update window pop up and I saw the App Center contains the same NVIDIA driver's option on the install application page. I'm not sure if they were there before I installed the Ubuntu PPA or after. But anyway, I used that to install the version 515, restart, and boom, the X settings worked. But sadly, the video capture through HDMI still has the same issue. No worries, at least now I can use OBS to capture my screen. Let's take a look at the desktop itself. Elementary OS got famous because it was one of the first Linux distributions which copied the design from Mac OS. Not pixel by pixel, but the design. After using Mac OS for half a year already, I can see the philosophy everywhere. It uses a different approach to do almost everything compared to other distributions. Firstly, to access the plank preference, user needs to hold control instead of shift when right-clicking on the dock. Second, Firefox is not installed by default in this distribution. If my memory served me right, when I set it up for my girlfriend to try out Linux in 2021 on her MacBook Air, Firefox was not even available in their app center, and it is still not available now. The third thing is that not all the windows have minimize and maximize buttons. To minimize OBS after starting the screen recording, I have to click the icon on the dock in order to do so. Very good design, super user friendly, that I had to use my intuition to figure it out. Let's try install some applications. There are three ways of installing things in this distribution. App Center, Flatpak, and App Package Manager. Let's start with the App Center. As I mentioned above, it has a limited number of applications. I installed Steam using it, which works well. Nothing more to say here. Then there is the Flatpak. Elementary OS has Flatpak installed out of the box, but the issue is that FlatHub is not set up by default. It was funny to see that FlatHub page says I have to download the package from their website and then double click to install. 
And I also find that once one package is installed this way, the Flat Hub repo will be automatically set up behind the scenes. I can see the Flat Hub version, Firefox, and Proton Tricks started to show up in the App Center after this. Again, good design decisions. Finally, I tried the apt command. I downloaded the dev package of Vivaldi browser and used the command line to install it, which works pretty well. And Emacs can also be installed this way. I also want to mention if you don't want to use the Flat Hub version, Firefox is also available with apt package manager, which is one of the good things the distribution has because of its Ubuntu-based nature. Now it's gaming time. In the previous video, the cracked Red Dead Redemption 2 was not running on my external gaming environment. So I wanted to see if the system on the internal NVMe would work. I installed the bottles and flat seal by downloading the flat hub packages and the game worked. Even though I have my best gaming setup on my external drives, I will still make an effort to see if some of the legal games I own will work in my videos. Starting with the most problematic one, Assassin's Creed Origin. I install Steam from App Center, enable Proton experimental version, and install the game. It gave me the Uplay Not Found error as always. Then I installed the Proton Tricks using App Center, which became available after installing the download package from FlatHub above. Surprise, surprise, I can install Uplay without a single hiccup and play the game using my controller without any additional setup. I also tried Divinity Original Sin 2, which seems to be working fine. <laughs> Elementary OS was initially catching my eye due to how closely the UI design was to macOS. But now, after so many years of using Linux, I can't say I'm on board with some of the decisions they made, especially for the software they chose to provide and then advertise themselves as easy to use distribution. My girlfriend was using Firefox exclusively before switching over to Chromebook, and yet she can't even install it through App Center on this distribution on her old MacBook Air. If Elementary was designed to make Mac users switch to Linux easily, they failed. I appreciate the effort for providing a different taste in Linux for people who are used to macOS, but without an easy way of installing NVIDIA and lack of application choices out of the box, I wouldn't recommend new users to use it. The ironic part is, with all the knowledge I have as a seasonal Linux user, the Ubisoft game was way easier to play on this distro, which NVIDIA proprietary driver is by default hidden than the gaming-oriented distribution Regatta OS, which means we still have a long way to go as Linux gamers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.